Hi everyone. We are going to go through our algebraic fractions assignment in this video. Okay, so what you need to do obviously is to finish the assignment um, and then you're going to use what we go through to correct it um, and to make sure that your solutions are indeed correct. That doesn't mean I just want you to mark with tick and flick. I would actually like you to correct anything that you got wrong. Okay, so if we look at this first one in the assignment, we need to make this one fraction. All right, so in order to do this, we know we need a common denominator of 12. So we're multiplying by 3 and by 4. Okay, remember that's going to give us 12 in the denominator. We want to use um, expanding brackets to help us with multiplying this out. So our first step would be to write it as 3 brackets 4m plus 1 plus 4 brackets 1 minus 3m and that will all be over 12. Okay, now we can expand our brackets. So the first one is going to become 12m plus 3 plus 4 and then minus 3 times 4 is um, minus 12m. Okay, and again that's all over 12. Okay, final step, we need to simplify 12m minus 12m, those cancel, okay, 3 plus 4 is 7, so we get 7 over 12 as our final answer. Okay, so hopefully you guys got that one, let's take a look at the next one. Okay, so this time we're going to want our denominator to be 24, so multiplying by 6 and by 4, okay, that's going to give us 6 brackets 4m minus 1 plus 4 brackets 5 minus 6m all over 6 times 4 which is 24. Okay, let's look at our second step. 6 times 4 is 24m, 6 times negative 1 is minus 6, 4 times 5 is plus 20, and 4 times minus 6m is minus 24m. all over 24. You'll notice that those cancel and we can simplify. We've got negative 6 plus 20 which is 14 over the 24 and we can simplify a little bit further by dividing by 2 and that's 7 over 12. Okay, well done. <clears throat> Okay, so our next question, very similar method, times 4, times 4, times 3, times 3. Okay, we're going to have 4 brackets 3m plus 1 plus 3 brackets 4m minus 1. Okay, and that's all over 12. That we're going to expand, we get 12m plus 4 plus 12m minus 3 all over 12 okay and that's going to give us 24m plus 1 over 12 when we simplify okay so hopefully we got that well done okay next question we're going to multiply by 8 and by 6 Okay, so we've got 8 brackets 3m plus 2 plus 6 brackets 2 minus 4m. Okay, and that is all over 6 times 8, which is 48. Okay, 8 times 3m, 24m. 8 times 2 plus 16 plus 6 times 2, 12, 6 times minus 4 is minus 24m, all over 48, okay, 24m minus 24m cancels, and we are left with 16 plus 12, which is 28 over 48, okay, we can divide that by 4, okay, giving us 7 over 12. Okay, so that was question one finished. In question two, they were asking us to simplify these, which means we have to factorize both the top and the bottom. 
Okay, so this one here is difference of squares. So the square root of 49 is 7. So let's have x plus 7 and x minus 7. Okay. That, okay, is going to be over. Let's say have a think. We need to multiply to 14 but add to 9. So that's a 2 and a 7. So x plus 2 and x plus 7. Okay. Those cancel, and our final answer is x minus 7 over x plus 2. Okay, and this next one, we have difference of squares again. So square root of that is 2x. So that's what we start our bracket with. And the square root of 25 is 5, so a plus 5 and a minus 5. Okay, and that is going to be over something. We're not sure yet. So let's take a look at our method. 2 times 5 is 10. Okay, two numbers that multiply to 10 but add to 7 are going to be a 2 and a 5. Set up my brackets. It starts with 2x, so 2x and 2x. And we have a plus 2 and a plus 5. That cancels to an x plus 1, and that stays as the 2x plus 5. So we get x plus 1 and 2x plus 5. Okay, those cancel, and I'm left with the final answer of 2x minus 5 over x plus 1. Well done. Okay, for part C of question 2, we had this one here. Again, we can start with difference of squares at the top. Okay, so square root of 9x squared is 3x. Let's get our brackets set up. And the square root of 36 is 6, minus 6. Okay, that bit's done. Now, I can divide out a 3, so we're going to do that first. Okay, let's take out the 3 so it's a bit easier to factorize. So that's x squared minus x minus 2 that's left. Okay, so in my next step, I'm thinking also about here and what I can divide out. It looks to me like that can divide by 3, and this bracket can also divide by 3. So let's do that. Um, so we could take out a 3, and we'd be left with x plus 2. And if we take out another 3, we're left with x minus 2 for the other bracket. We'll simplify that in a moment. Okay. Okay. And that is all over um, 3. And then let's have a think. We need to multiply to negative 2, but add to negative 1. So let's have a negative 2 and a 1. So x plus 1 and an x minus 2. Okay, well, those two will cancel out. And so we're one of the 3s. Okay, so we're going to be left with 3 brackets x plus 2 over x plus 1. And we're done. Okay, so um, it did say to simplify, so I wouldn't expand that again in my answer. That would be fine, and you would get your marks. Okay, so for question three, um, similarly, we need to make one fraction, but this time, of course, we have expressions with two terms. So remember we said to put that in brackets to make it easier for ourselves, okay? And then multiply um, this denominator by this fraction and this denominator by the second fraction, okay? So we would have times the x minus 4, top and bottom, okay? And over here we would have times the x plus 2, top and bottom, Okay, when we write that out, we're going to use expanding brackets again. So for this one here, we would have three brackets x minus 4, and we have a plus sign. Okay, and then it's two brackets x plus 2. And we know that our denominator is going to be the same. Okay, and remember I told you not to expand it, just to write out the brackets. Okay, and for us, that's going to be x plus 2 and an x minus 4. All right, so now we can expand and simplify the top. So we would get 3x minus 12 plus 2x plus 4 all over my x plus 2 and x minus 4. Okay, last step, 3x plus 2x is 5x, negative 12 plus 4 is minus 8, and that is all over my x plus 2 and x minus 4. 
4. Okay? Right, so that is how we solve the first one. Okay, so part B, similarly. Okay, we might now be at the stage where we don't need to write times, 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 times. Okay, we're just going to do this in steps now. Uh, so we know that the 10 is going to multiply by the x plus 2. So we write 10 brackets x plus 2. And we know that we have a minus sign. So minus 3 brackets 2x minus 3. Okay, when we multiply, and that will all be over the product of the two denominators, which is 2x minus 3 and then x plus 2. Now we expand the top. That gives us 10x plus 20 minus 3 times 2x is minus 6x, and then negative 3 times negative 3, so be careful, negative times negative gives us plus 9, and that is all over our same denominator. Okay, 2x minus 3 and x plus 2. Okay, All right now we can simplify the top, which would be the rest of it. So that's going to be 10x minus 6x, which is 4x, and 20 plus 9 is plus 29. And that is all over my answer of 2x minus 3 and x plus 2, okay, as our denominator. And that's finished. Okay, so well done, those of you who got that. All right, one more of those, okay, before the challenge question. Right, so again, put that in brackets to help you see it. All right, we are going to, for the first one, be multiplying by this denominator. So that's 20 brackets, 3x minus 10. Okay, minus sign, and then 8 brackets, the 4x minus 10. All right, and that is all over. Four x minus ten and three x minus ten. Okay, right. Twenty times three x. Twenty times minus ten. Uh, minus the thirty-two x, and then don't forget that's a plus eighty. Okay. All over this. Okay, so we've got 60 minus 32, which is going to be 28x. And we've got negative 200 plus 80, which is minus 120. Now, you would think you might be done, but actually we aren't, because there is one more way I can simplify this. And that's because I can take out a 2 here, and both of these are even. All right, so that's exactly what we're going to do. So for our next step, we're going to divide out a 2 in the numerator, which gives us 14x minus 60. Okay, and we can divide out the 2 in the denominator as well. 2 brackets, 2x minus 5, and then the 3x minus 10 stays the same. Okay, and here's where actually now those two can cancel out. Wondering, can we do anything else? If I divided by a 2, no, it's not going to get us to this. It's not going to get us to this, so we're done. Okay, so our last answer, or our final answer, sorry, is 14x minus 60 over 2x minus 5 and 3x minus 10. Okay, so really well done, those of you who got that. If you got to this step, you were almost there, okay, you'd only lose a mark. So if this was your final answer, you'd get most of your marks, you'd just lose a mark. Uh, if you obviously cancelled down further, then you would get your full marks. Okay, so that brings us to one more question where we're actually solving, okay. Uh, first step here is to still make this uh, one fraction, so let's do that first. Let's put that in brackets to help us. But remember, it's equal to 1, so I'm not going to write an equal sign here. All right, so we've got a 1 here, so 1 times the x minus 3 plus 2 times the x plus 2 all over my common denominator, which is x plus 2 times the x minus 3 is equal to 1. 
Okay, now we can multiply this up. Right, so we take all of this and multiply it by the 1, okay, and it's moved to the right-hand side. And at the same time, we can simplify this. So 1 times x is x, 1 times minus 3, and then 2 times the x and 2 times the 2 is equal to 1 times all of this, so x plus 2 and x minus 3. Okay, now we need to simplify. And we also need to expand that set of brackets. So x plus 2x is 3x, minus 3 plus 4 is plus 1. And then we have x times x, which is x squared, x times minus 3, which is minus 3x, um, 2 times x, which is plus 2x, and 2 times minus 3, which is negative 6. Okay. Um, let's move everything over to one side where x squared is positive so that we can then factorize. So we've got 0 is equal to the x squared. Now we've got negative 3x plus 2x, which is minus x. We're taking away the 3x from the other side. Okay, We already have a minus 6, and we're taking away the 1. That's going to give us x squared minus 4x minus 7. Okay. Right. So now we look at it and we think, I can't think of anything where I can multiply to a negative 7 and add to a negative 4. So factorizing is out of the picture. So we can choose between the quadratic formula and completing the square. Uh, completing the square tends to be a bit quicker, so let's do that method. So we've got 0 is equal to... Cutting that in half, so we've got x minus 2 squared. Remember to take away the square of that, and we already have minus 7. So 0 will be equal to x minus 2 squared minus 11. Now I can solve. I'm going to write it the other way, just so it's a bit easier. So make it equal to 0, so we're moving left to right. I'm going to add the 11 to both sides. That gives us x plus 2 squared equals 11. Then we take the square root, so x plus 2 equals plus or minus the square root of 11. And finally, we can take away the 2. x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 11, which means we have two final answers for x. x could be equal to negative 2 plus the square root of 11, or x can be equal to negative 2 minus the square root of 11. And that finishes off your assessment. Okay, so well done on that. Please go back and replay if you need to go through anything again. Make sure you've fully corrected and rewritten your solutions. If you did find a few of them hard, I suggest you wait 24 hours and then do them again and then check to see how you did the second time. Okay, but excellent work. All right, proud of you. And uh, see you in the next lesson.